Morning folks, it's Christmas Eve Eve, so it's Sunday and uh, no rest for the wicked eh? Um, up here this morning, we've got a couple of things to do, I want to get some stuff on the race track. Uh, there's a couple of specific things, there's a take off that I want to sort out. Currently just waiting for Simon, uh, it, it was cold so decided to stick the fire on and get warmed up for a minute. But in about the next sort of 5-10 minutes Simon should come wandering through this way and uh, we can crack on but first I better try to sharpen the chainsaw so what we're looking for out of today is to take these longer logs here halve them up a bit and get ourselves a bit of a kicker now in order to secure that so it doesn't move anywhere when you hit it Simon's going to grab us some old fence posts we're going to repurpose those and uh, essentially it'll be all about launching right the way over the log raft but uh, first of all, these are a bit long and they're not laid up particularly well. They were only there just to give me an idea. So mission number one has been achieved before lunch, which is great news because uh, it means that we've actually got time to do some other stuff as well. If I just talk you over this kicker quickly, it is, if I can show you, it is just kind of below my thigh height which those of you that know the park will know that there's a very, very similar sized feature over on Gasoline Alley, just after the berms, before it goes into a berm and back out again. If you know it, you know it. That's kind of, that's kind of what m myself and Simon were aiming for on here. If you can see a dark line on the floor there, that's where we're gonna transition out to. So that'll be the beginning of the transition. There's quite a good view from over here if you can also bear in mind and hold in mind that marker where the transition is going to come to it'll scoop its way up in dirt and then over to across the log raft so to speak i don't have a better name for it right now and then where simon's feet are then you've got the the transition down into the dip unfortunately that part doesn't really show up on camera but believe you believe you me when we get it all dirtied in and covered you'll be able to see what I mean but the great news is because we've got this done now we have actually got some time to hit onto another project so we'll get on that in a sec right apologies for the low light I don't know if you can see out there but we're kind of in the cloud in the fog in the thick of it a little bit but uh, what's happened is since we put this kicker in for the log raft I think uh, myself and Simon may well have figured out the uh, the feature that we were going to call the kinker um, it's a it's a hipped set of whoops set of large a hip set of camel humps it may end up turning out as uh, but we've just scratched a little bit of it out and I, you might not be able to I am, I'm not going to be able to explain this but when it's finished this will be a, a hipped camel hump will shape this bit of earth in and then the second the second one of them will also be a hipped camel hump which will allow you to double over the both should you wish again same kind of crack as usual on this track you're not going to have to do the doubles if you want you can just roll through them but it will be a fun kind of fly over in a double if you want to uh, have I just been talking into a missed I might have just been talking into a missed up lens if I have done apologize apologies again okay, I don't know if I can get you out to the edge can you see pretty misty anyway that's probably about as much as we've got time for because it is starting to get a little bit darker in the woods so we'll leave it here tomorrow's Christmas Eve and uh, I'll be back at it again next next couple of days see you in a bit 